Hello and welcome back to PowerPoints. My name is Danny Rocks. In our last lesson we worked with Microsoft Word to create an outline and then to import that outline without retyping. So we created a new presentation in PowerPoint directly from a Word outline. Today I'm going to work with outlines. With outlines, they're in normal mode, and we have two tabs up here. We can either work with the slides or with the outlines. We're going to work with outlines exclusively today. To begin, let's make sure that we have the outlining toolbar available. If you're not sure, go up here to View and go to Toolbars, and there should be a check mark next to outline and if not click there and the outlining toolbar will appear here I have it floating if I wanted to dock it I could just move over to an area where I could have it docked if I want to make it float I go over here where the four dots are that is the toolbar handle and I just pick it up and then we have it floating okay the first thing that I want to do is rather than have the outline in expanded view what I want to do is I want to have it in collapsed view so I can see the bigger picture over here this way I just see the titles here now if I want to reveal the detail on any one of my slides I just double click it and that slide becomes active and all of the detail appears if I want to collapse it double click if I want to expand all I click over here and it's a toggle. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is let's look over here. We're stating that we have options. We have available options. I want to create a, du a duplicate slide where we can flesh out options. So I'll come up here to insert and I'll say duplicate slide. And now we have a new slide inserted which is an exact duplicate. Let's just make a few changes here. We'll change this to be option number one and we'll get rid of a little bit of the text here okay and now let's create a duplicate slide here for option number two this time instead of going up to the menu let's use the keyboard shortcut control D and now we have a duplicate slide and all we have to do is make this option number two okay let's uh, collapse all and now I want to show you how we can create a summary slide we can create a new slide which is a summary which will just have the titles for all of the slides that we want to put on the summary slide select the first title hold down shift select the last one and then over here on the toolbar where it says summary slide we create a brand new slide called the summary slide let's just move this out of the way okay one of the reasons for establishing a summary slide I like to use this as a way to create hyperlinks navigation so in other words with option number one let's create a hyperlink so that right here what we're going to do let's use the keyboard shortcut control K which brings up the uh, hyperlink dialog box and we want to make this a place in the document and the place in the document that we want to go to is slide number eight click OK all right and there's our hyperlink now we won't actually see this working until we actually go into slideshow view so let's create one more let's do the goals and objectives let's highlight the text this time we'll go up and say insert hyperlink control K is that shortcut over there all right so what we want to do for goals and visions is highlight that slide click OK notice how the text has changed now to make sure that this works let's go to slideshow view we want to have slideshow view from slide 2 so let's hold down uh, shift F5 and now when we click on one of our hyperlinks in here it will take us directly to that slide all right well there you have some tips for working with inside outlines we'll see you in the next edition of PowerPoints.